Hey, explorers, travelers, friends, family. Here at this little place called, little cemetery called Sugar Grove Cemetery. There used to be a church here. Last time I was by there, there was ruins. So, but it's got some new stones and some older ones. So we'll take a look, see what we can see. Lloyd L. Mahan, Indiana Trooper, you first U.S. Volunteer Cavalry, September 23rd, 1939. Emma and Isaac, probably his parents. Yeah, right here, there's a little chapel, I think, for the, whenever they have funerals, I would say. But over on near the road, last time I was here, there was a, what was left of the ruins of the old church. This was pretty well maintained. Infant Brunker. Our broker, 1890-1913. His parents, George T. and Florida A. E. She lived to be almost 90. Some more Mahon. Pearl, Mildred, and Amanda, and Benjamin. These probably the daughters of the couple in front of us. There's actually like three newer graves here. Opal, Mahon Davis, She's 26. Might have been the daughters of the Brunkers married. This is Mary Edna Brunker. Yeah, these are some newer stones, so I'm going to skip over these. Father Edwin, Mother Nancy E. Ford. Brown, James, and Pearl. Mahon. There's a little family plot foot. And this is a very cool old school name. Ziba Foot MD. 
August 16th, 1824 to April 29th, 1907. Thirty-five to nineteen oh seven. Mary J. McGill, his wife. Catone. You see any stones? J wife and KW self. AXA. That's a cool name. This is a cool newer stone. Probably after 1917, but it's got the got the stuff growing on it. Fungus. Zena Wamsball. I think this is. April 10th, 1896. Wamsball. W A M B A U G H. Scott, Lenny C, and John W. Cecil, son of John W. and L.C. Halberstadt, 1901, January 9th to March 11th. Rest in peace, little guy. Brown, two years old. Herman B. Brown, fourteen years old. John K. 
Calvin in Florida F. Maybe the parents. Patricia Ann Brown, daughter of Curtis F. Brown, December 1st, 1931, January 1932. Shoemaker, mini shoemaker. Catherine A. Scott, wife of Herschel or Harrison, sorry. Cool stones. Six to nineteen oh five. His wife Mary nineteen thirty one, thirty four. Little John Wilson. October 15th, 1909, October 22nd, W. Born 18, December 1st, 1874. Died September 24th, 1893. 1890s, 15 years, 9 months. I'm sure what the song name is Son and Daughter. G. W. and Eliza Mahon. They're, they're buried over there. No, here they are. George and Eliza. Mahon's a pretty big family. Another infant daughter. Daughter Imogene, mother Ida, father John Hawkins. September 9th, 1927, 1929. Another baby, Leo G. C. Spriggs. July 25.
W. Spriggs, Indian, the private U.S. Army, World War I, 1893 to April 27, 1960. It might have been his, might have been his kids. I think this is some of the old bricks and stuff from the, the old church. old stones probably just had initials on them at one time I think some of them are just showing that you know like brown that this is their last name the initials of the ones that are buried there. Daughter Margaret E. Father John K. And mother Nancy K. K. This is a beautiful stone, old stone. Father Samuel Brown and Mother Nancy, wife of Samuel, died August 18th, 1832, aged 50 years. So she was born in 1780. He passed away. Eighteen fifty six at seventy six years of age, so he was born in eighteen eighty or seventeen eighty as well. Harry R. Brown died September 18. No. Look at that. That says that's a seven. That's an eight. Eighteen. No. Nope. 89 aged 67 years J Madison Duckworth a Mason 1853 to 1893 This would have been a good place to have your resting spot. Yeah. So 
overlooking this hill. I'd be okay with that. This little mausoleum is really neat. Saved it for last. I think this is marble. Anybody knows what it is? Leave a comment. Lassar Brown, Jim L. July 7th, 1943, and Ruth, February 12th, 1923. I think they're still alive. She'd be a hundred and he'd be eighty. Very cool though. Class 36 Company Trans Corps, World War I, July 9th, 1886 to May 1st, 1953. Trans Corps, that was probably horses, transportation. John Wanball. Not sure where his wife. These were probably his sons, Frederick P. November 15th, 1892 to January 8th, 1893. And Joseph, February 15th, February 22nd, 1897. Rest in peace, my friends. Well, guys, that's it. A lot of the ones over there are really new. There's some even fresh dug ones, so I'm not going to show those. So, hope you guys like this one. Very interesting. I have a pretty graveyard. Pretty well taken care of, even the old parts. So, thanks for watching, guys. I think I'm need one subscriber to reach a hundred that's which is really cool I didn't think I'd ever reach a hundred by showing the people a bunch of graves of people they don't know which I like the history aspect of it so that's why I do it people aren't forgotten so have a good night guys hope you had a great Thanksgiving I didn't I was pretty sick so my wife was sick I'll see you guys on the next. Hey guys, well, my intro, my outro got cut off a little bit, so. But um, it's kind of weird because right at the time that the camera cut off, this stick like 20 feet away flew straight up into the air and landed, like it wasn't falling, it wasn't blowing, it just went flying. 
and then I heard something crashing, so I got out of there pretty fast. I didn't worry about the intro, so. I just wanted to let you know that I didn't cut it off on purpose, so. I just want to talk to you later. I'll say peace. I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Love you.